All right, welcome week 13 as we head into week 14. One more Monday night game. It's Monday, the Rundown Podcast, week 13. Look ahead to week 14. Pro Football Doc Podcast, Sports Injury Central, and uh, usual suspects. Uh, Jacob's here, Taylor, and uh, Justin lurking somewhere in the background. The shadows, yeah. It's a good shadows. thing we have the busy injury week because you're abandoning us next week, Doc abandoning <laughs> we gotta like have an adult per- in the room and very stuff personal. It, was, it was hurtful you know yeah. well uh that's why i've got another doctor coming in it's the true. room there right? you go i mean to watch the kids and uh abandon um yeah <laughs> you guys need to grow up some point for sure <laughs> no i actually was more excited about well going to family new york trip whatever we'll do some other things i, I was expi- excited to uh, uh spend sunday with uh pat Kerwin, you know Mm -hmm. in the cbs headquarters he's always there and have all the tvs but i guess they're still not allowing any visitors no family nothing yet so some covid residual so we'll figure it out actually uh let's uh, i might crowdsource it where should i go i mean uh to watch the games that's a good question i haven't been in new york Uh, in years times uh, Times square doesn't just like have an eight box or something I don't know. I mean, there's, I think <laughs> there's an chaotic. ESPN zone there. Yeah, there's yeah. This, that, the other. I, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, you guys will get replays. I'll, I'll be around, and uh, I got some friends out there. We'll see. I think uh, I might try and get together with uh, Jay Fiedler. He does some TV stuff. He might be free yeah. Sunday to watch and so forth. I, I'm free of the family on Sunday, though. What are they for doing? The most part. Well, actually. At 11 a.m., we're supposed to go to the Rockettes. And, of course, the games don't start till 1, so right there. And then at 6.30, and still, and the games are still going on, I got them going to the Lion King. Oh, okay. I did that when I was younger. So That's fun. Whatever. All good. All right, so let's go. What do we got this week here, Jacob? I was going to say I'm glad you didn't go this week because it would have been ridiculous. My hair, hair would have been on fire all day. Well, uh Jimmy, so does that require a what hair comment? Or... <laughs> uh, Jimmy G, obviously gone for the season, multiple broken bones in his foot. Um, I, I, you were when that news broke, you were surprised at the surgery news. Why? Why is the surgery part surprising for that? Well, you know, it it does indicate multiple bones, and you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Um, the 49ers released ankle even. I mean, it right. looked like a high ankle to me, and obviously the news of the foot being trapped. I think what it is, if you really look closely, it's the defender's knee fulcrums right on the foot. Yeah, and right causes the midfoot. The, yeah, yeah, causes the fracture. So surgery, uh, I mean, the news there is pretty simple. Surgery, as season is done, doesn't matter how far the 49ers go. And I think the bigger news is we do not expect Trey Lance uh ankle fracture dislocation trey lance will not be ready to go and come save the day so it's going to be brock purdy uh josh johnson usd university of san diego guy xfl don't forget yeah has he been he's been with the niners twice has he been with more teams or has tom brady played more years Hmm. you think he's been on 20 plus teams (laughs) i don't think he's been on that many. it's a lot i don't know I would say 10 plus. I'll agree with that. Oh, I think he's closer to the 20 than 10. And if you add in XFL and this, that, the other, he might get there. Now, I, let's take that back. Let's call them stints. Okay, yeah, twice no, on the 49ers. Because he was stints. on the Broncos. He got poached from the Broncos practice squad. He, yeah. he started for the Jets last season, I believe. He stepped oh, in for good, Mike good, White. Good good for him. I yeah. mean, and not, not hating on him. Although someone tweeted at me, what about Philip Rivers? And I was like, I don't know. Ask Philip. It is December. His football the high school season's season's over. Uh, yep. done. But at, I don't know if he knows the system or this, that, the other. Well, I, mean, I was going to say, at this point late in the season, is it just getting a guy who you know can learn an offense midway through the season and, and get the snap counts right and deal with all that stuff in practice and be yeah, the, I mean, the emergency guy? And I'm not promoting Philip Rivers. I haven't talked to him about it. And but it is a Super Bowl opportunity, and he's smart enough to pick up a system and work within it quickly, I think. Although it seems like Shanahan 
want someone a little more mobile than Philip. Yeah. <laughs> He's not Because even, even Johnson at 23, by the way, uh, 23 teams. So good job. Okay. For you, oh, there you go. go. And I, I included teams. all. He even played for the Sacramento Mountain Lions. I don't remember what league that was. but He's he's been with more at, teams than years Brock Purdy's been alive. United Football League. Yeah. Yeah. Late in December. So. And so he does have more teams than Tom Brady has years. We, yep. Yeah. You're good. To oh, buy a lottery ticket. There you that go. Was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't yeah. even look it up. But stints for sure. Yes. Yeah. But let's stay in division and talk uh, Matt Stafford's spinal cord contusions. What it finally came out as he said he had numbness in his legs on his uh, second concussion scare. Um, ended up being spine more than head, which we detailed on the website before all this news broke. So why is what's what's the next step with that? What what's there to decide? Uh, his season's already over, but what does it look like for going forward? Matt Stafford is one of the bigger pieces of news. We talked about Jimmy G, and I guess you can talk about is is are San Francisco going to pick up Baker Mayfield now that he's been waived? <laughs> I don't know they will. All right, I mean you need someone who knows the offense a little bit. Brock Purdy didn't look bad. It's limited stint, but yeah, he's been with the team since rookie camp, right? So I, I'm not hating on Brock Purdy. I don't know how good he is or not good he is, but I don't know. This is the uh, the uh, old guy in the room coming out, but yep. uh, how many times in baseball you see that double A or triple A call up throw some good balls? Yeah. He's better than the like the guy you just traded for sometimes. Well, yeah, just unseen, right? right? And then you know, if you really look at the 49er history, didn't Nick Mullins look okay for a little bit? Yeah, enough to win some more jobs. So this is forced in yeah. on the Niners, by the more way. More backup jobs, right? Didn't I mean, you know, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, hopefully Purdy can do it for them. I mean, do they, they need a good team. quarterback play? I mean, it, it, that defense is insane right now, and they got CMC, Debo to use, Brandon Ayuk. Like you just need that, to throw five be, yards. Right? That'll be the just rest of the season. Debate passes, is yeah. <laughs> how good of a quarterback they need to compete. Well, that's kind of what I'm talking about. If, if all you're going to do is have them throw screen passes, I mean, that can be taken away. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, they have game know, film on Purdy one dimensional, now, right? Yeah. yeah they so, didn't have film on him before, and now they do. So. But I don't think Baker gets picked up. No one wants to pick up his salary at this point. I don't know. Is, if he clears waivers, does he go to Houston? Does he go to the Rams? Or does he sit and collect his money and then retool for next year? I don't know. I don't know. I told you XFL. That would be big time for him. Yeah, I so. love the XFL. Yes. Anyways, back to Matt Stafford. On a serious note, last week I didn't want to postulate spinal cord contusion, but we were saying, look, it's a neck issue with numbness not just in one leg but both legs. That indicates something more core and central. That's why I said this is a big deal. You have to find out why. They now said spinal cord contusion. The good news about that, and he's done for the season. The good news about that is that he should have a full, complete recovery. I think they already said the symptoms were transient. So why can't he play? It's not a matter of the Rams, you know, shutting it down or shutting him down. You have to figure out why it happened. If it happened once, it could happen twice. And can you be assured that the second time won't be permanent in some way, shape, or form? I'm not even suggesting that he's going to become paralyzed or quadriplegic. But sometimes you have lasting neurologic damage. And uh, that is the worry here in terms of what's going on. Until you know why it happened, you can't put him back on the field and until you not only know why it happened, but also how it won't happen again. And if it happened once, I mean, is there a disc issue? Is there instability? Is there an osteophyte? Is it narrow canal? Somehow the spinal cord didn't have enough room that it got bruised. Number one, you got to let the bruise heal, second impact syndrome. Number two, you don't want to mess around with the spinal cord. You got to make sure. So, what I postulate here, and I wasn't trying to get ahead of the news, is that there's no question a spinal cord contusion is career-threatening. I didn't say ending, threatening. In other words, it is possible that he doesn't play again. Now, let's play this out a little bit here. 
you have to be safe and you know his wife is going to want him safe and you know he doesn't need the money he's got a ring he's played 14 years right i don't care if you played four months you have to be safe i don't care if he doesn't have a ring but at this point in life you know what does where's the motivation and and where's the risk tolerance and i believe in order for him to return safely to play he's likely need to need neck surgery now i i have a situation uh, when i was head team physician we dealt with a spinal cord contusion i'm not going to say the name right now because i haven't talked to him recently to get permission but that was a big deal it was the one and only time i traveled with the player to get the second opinions with the mm -hmm. spine experts because mm -hmm. i wanted to hear it for myself and ask the right questions in terms of how big a deal this this was um heck this is the only time i flew on uh, dean spanos's plane before a preseason game go. he wanted yeah. to talk about it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and we had a conversation on the way to a preseason game uh but anyways um and uh spot the solution there was to prevent it from happening he needed a single level discectomy infusion to protect that level where the spinal cord was bruised to prevent a second one now if he didn't want to play football anymore he didn't need anything hmm. but if he wanted to play football he needed to do that and he did and he did return to play and he was cleared to play but we did strike a deal with him that if it happens a second time you're done we're not playing with the third time mm. and this that the other and he agreed and we figured that the we through consultation that the chances of being paralyzed were essentially zero and that's what made us comfortable the chance of it happening and getting more permanent issues not paralysis were small based on the surgery so matt stafford's choice is going to be walk away with a great 14-year career in a super bowl ring plenty of money or have neck surgery and play again neck surgery isn't horrible i've had that neck surgery here uh, but if he doesn't want to play football he doesn't even need it is it the same surgery that justin ross had the chiefs receiver a clemson kid except justin ross i believe was multiple levels okay. which yeah. is why we said he's not going to play that's football, why he wasn't even right, right? right? Yeah. that he yeah. wasn't drafted and then all this stuff and he was trying to see the differences between any of the yeah. foot thing yeah 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 but it's different multi levels don't mm -hmm. return to play single levels can so unfortunately matt stafford's spinal cord contusion is absolutely career threatening i didn't say career ending right it could be career ending he so may he, choose that. So if and, you hear, and, and more power to him. It's big news, yeah. So if you hear that he didn't have that he's not gonna have surgery, is that meaning that he's retiring? Would that be the next or well, we're making some assumptions here right, that right, right. it's a spinal cord contusion. There was re reason. Now, maybe there's another reason they felt like he got the spinal cord contusion that can be solved without surgery. But usually like you said, you need another not. You the need bottom to, line is yeah. is it's one thing if you're playing. Okay, it's one thing if you're Mike Williams and you have a high ankle sprain and you may not be fully ready, but it's a big game. You return to play and you re-injure it. And you mm -hmm. miss some more time. It is another if you're dealing with something in your spinal cord. You can't have a 0.1% chance that something's going wrong. There. Right. It's just not worth it, and you wouldn't be cleared to play. You so need to know why. You need to know the That's issue. the thing. Yeah. Not only you need to know why, but then you need to prevent it from happening again. Okay. So as I foreshadow this, I mean, let me ask you this question. If you're Matt Stafford, would you settle off into the sunset or return? I would settle off in the sunset. Yeah. That seems like a very easy decision, especially with the Super Bowl the last two years. If he didn't have the Super Bowl, he seems like a like a guy that really wants to win. So I would see him really trying to get that, you know, the chip. But I think he got that. There's I don't think there's much else he needs to do. And you know, are the Rams in a little rebuild without draft picks? I don't know, right? I mean, right. maybe I mean, online situation, what it is with how many injuries they've had, and they, yeah. Donald almost retired too at the beginning of this year, and now with the high there's, ankle, there's talk about he, him. He McVay could retire this year too, and, hanging and, it up. So yeah. And Kelly Stafford's been very outspoken about her husband, absolutely. Self, yes, which she should be. Right. It's yeah. her husband. They have you know, kids, and, you know, they're uh, looking long term. Yeah. Long term. I mean, he took a beating in Detroit and played through it all. So. Yeah, he we've did. always said he's very tough, so right. I'm not he's questioning his through toughness. A lot. Yes, but, absolutely. Uh, sometimes, you know, so I, it's definitely career-threatening is my point. And I think that he will not return to play unless he has surgery is my opinion from afar. Right. And I'm with you. I think he walks away. But 
let's let him make that decision. And age isn't a factor. If he was a younger guy and he had the same issue, it would be the same situation or yes. Okay. The player I was talking about was younger. Okay. It would be a similar situation. Okay, for sure. Um but you know, I think if he hadn't won the ring and he hadn't been 14 years, it'd be harder to walk away. Right. Right. right? I think it's tactic. easier to walk away now. But you know, maybe he has the desire to go and and I think he could return to play if he wanted to but do you want to go through surgery and go through i think he's pretty much close in as a hall of fame career right i mean he's top 20 and almost top uh, 20 and almost like an all-time almost does he make the hall of fame i mean he's top 20 in in passing attempt completions passing yards passing touchdowns all time in nfl that's for me that's enough right and he's got longevity yeah he had the ring to his resume (laughs) he's definitely it's definitely a debate you're you're right though it is stingy nfl is much more stingy nfl is different baseball is more about if you get 3,000 hits, the statistics. You get 500 the statistics. Yeah. Yeah. a long career you're rewarded right. from. The NFL is what years were you great or dominant? Mm-hmm. Like Terrell Davis had a very short career but made it, but he was an MVP. He, he was dominant right. for a while. Yeah. I just asked the question, has yeah. Matt Stafford been an MVP? I mean, was he ever the guy in yeah. a given given year? He led the league in touchdowns twice. Okay, and still, that's still a statistical you, thing, though. You right? could argue <laughs> that Detroit is throwing more because they had bad defenses, whatever. No, no, record, no. But whatever. I, yeah. I'm not against him yeah, being yeah, in yeah. the Hall of Fame. I'm just saying the criteria for the NFL Hall of Fame seems different than other sports. Yeah. Look, I, I hope right. I hope Philip Rivers gets in, but I'm not sure. You could say Hall of Famers have defining moments. You could say Stafford's defining moment is he won a Super Bowl. Okay, I, I get that. Okay, and that maybe is enough. I mean, uh, that's the issue. It's different, um, no, for sure. And uh, let the voters decide over time. But he certainly had a great career. I don't think he's got anything to prove. So, anyways, let's enough get into about some uh, coach speak from the biggest injuries of the week. Uh, our our favorite. We'll kick it off with John Harbaugh. Um, Lamar Jackson obviously left the game with that left knee injury by video. Appeared to be a PCL strain. Flex knee went hard into the. Uh, Harden to the grass turf, um, whatever whatever they were playing with on that uh, in that game. But um, he, he said it's anywhere from days to weeks for his knee, which I guess that sounds like a soap it, opera. It doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't rule out any uh, possibility. You know, it's either going to be days or it's going to be weeks. So I agree with that. Well, he's not going to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, uh, different coaches have different styles. We don't hate them. Doesn't surprise me that Kyle Shanahan had said Jimmy G broken foot surgery he's done. He's a straight shooter. He just yeah, put an end yep. to it. Uh, John Harbaugh has more coach speak in him, and and he's been successful, so I'm not doubting him on his methods. But you know, PCL sprain uh, is a grade one, grade two. I don't expect it to be grade three. How much time is he going to miss? I think he's going to miss miss time. They signed Rex Hundley or Brett, Brett Hundley, Hundley. Brett, yes. Hundley. Yeah. Brett Hundley, and Tyler Huntley. I know it's confusing. It's not, I don't no, like it's it. It's not nice for them to do that. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> but I think he misses some time. The question is how much. A good case scenario is back later in December. A not as good scenario is January. I think he could, could potentially come back in December. But of course, we always say recovery is not a light switch it's more gradual so it's not like oh it's three week injury and at 21 days he's 100 percent, but at 20 days he can't do anything right Right. it's all gradual and it has to do with the mobility we brought up philip rivers earlier philip rivers played in the 2008 afc (laughs) championship game torn acl with a brace six days from an e-scope he's also a statue in the pocket he's not Lamar jackson (laughs) okay i mean they're different guys in terms of whatever so if you're trying to just keep him in the pocket i think he can come back a little quicker but do you want him if that's the case there and so i think he's going to miss a couple weeks i'm saying weeks um and i'm hoping it doesn't stretch to more than one month but that's sort of the 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 line a good a good case scenario is he plays later december a bad case the over under is okay it's january that's where I'm thinking. And they're not closing up shop, right? I know they've been the no. most injured team in they're eight and four, right? They, they're they just, they're in there. They can't so. get healthy. This is the week that they're they're trying to get healthy and then he goes down. Patrick Queen had the thigh Look, contusion. Credit to yeah. John Harbaugh. They've been winning, just not covering, right? right? <laughs> because of their <laughs> injuries. This is two years this is two years in a row, too, that they've dealt yeah. with crazy they, amount of injuries. They've been down this road they, before. Yeah, so. And Tyler Huntley started before he started. 
four four weeks last year. Yeah, so. that's interesting. It was early December uh-huh. last year. Lamar mm-hmm. Jackson with that ankle issue, ankle bone bruise that we for four weeks in a row said he's not playing. He's not playing, and every week there was the uh, oh he's looking better and maybe he's going to go. Oh Friday ruled out. I expect that to happen again this week for Lamar. Well, fantasy perspective too. Um, he loves Mark Andrews. That's why Mark Andrews one of the top fantasy tight ends last year because that four uh, game stretch when uh, Jackson was out, he was feeding me. He doesn't have a strong arm, so I mean, he's doing what needs to be done. They had a good offense for him, like you said. Harbaugh knows how to use what he has. He's dealt with having little, right? So, yeah, and it was all underneath throws when he came in. Yeah. So we had his stats like twenty seven to thirty two for one hundred eighty yards, something like that. But he's he's a threat on the ground, and it might come down to who's more mobile in three weeks or two weeks whatever it is well it's like cooper rush he's been on the team for almost three like three to four years like right. they, you know the dolphins hasn't changed much within that time so yep and and that's the and the interesting thing is someone was saying since lamar doesn't have the long-term contract is he going to be vested to come back more quickly it's a good well, thought that's, yeah <laughs> that's a lamar question i mean i don't know him um but you know, I think he wants to win. So if it's an opportunity to win, maybe he will. I mean, he's already risked it this whole season instead of signing something. So, yeah. And uh, I don't think, and the good news is no surgery. The good news is I expect him to be the same again. So why was Ezekiel Elliott, he had the PCL strain last year. He, why was he able to not miss any time versus Lamar? Depends on grade of uh, sprain and he, did he perform that well? No, and he no. admitted he probably should have missed some time yes. to rest it. So instead of playing the rest of the year, that's yeah. a big one to watch. Uh, another of our favorite coaches, uh, Mr. Pete Carroll, um, <laughs> on Ken Walker. He, I feel like uh, it's not a uh, Pete Carroll's fault. He's trying to explain medical terms, but he after the game he said Kenneth Walker jammed his ankle, and then now it's the a strain to the inside of his foot, inside of his ankle. So I'm I'm minute to minute on the Pete Carroll updates. I don't know what's going on. Days to weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's always been optimistic. Pollyanna Pete. Yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> yeah. That's what he is. He, he threw mean, in there. We don't know. He could play this week. We'll see. Yeah, but strain would mean muscle or tendon. Inside the ankle would mean medial side. We looked at the video. He may have hurt his groin a little bit on that first run. Then he did plant hard on the right ankle slash foot, but we didn't see it turn or twist a certain way. I mean, is it a tendon strain maybe a poster tip strain i mean uh, uh we'll have to see but i i don't think walker's playing this week right no, that's uh, the funny part about that stuff because they they released that thing and i got a notification like oh it's just a muscle strain chance to play week 14 <laughs> it's right after that i'm just thinking in my head like just because it's not like broken or something like severe doesn't mean he's playing this week but it's fantasy right you want he's a key part of people's lineups in the playoffs I mean, so a chance okay <laughs> sure he's got a chance i don't think he will <laughs> right it's not a likely chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, their running back situation is really interesting too, because DJ Jallis in that same game hurt his ankle. Pete Carroll said some kind of high ankle. <laughs> and then their uh, number two currently is Travis Homer. Um, he has a knee sprain and missed with illness as well. So don't forget Rash- about Rashad Penny. Yes. Yeah. Uh, out, uh, out that's why we need ankle. stacking on our field views, right? Mm-hmm. So it'd be Rashad Penny. I can barely keep it straight. So yeah, we need, top of we need Dev a visual. Walker on top of. Travis Homer, Homer yep. on top of DJ, DJ Dallas, Dallas and Tony Jones on Jr. Top of Tony Jones Jr. <laughs> who took a vicious hit then, but returned. That, that and, was and, the best. DJ Dallas was doubtful to return with the ankle, and then Tony Jones Jr. took the hit, and there he was back in. <laughs> uh, how often do you see that? Right? Yeah, that's not. That's very. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, for sure. Yeah. All right, what else we got here? I uh, got the hiding behind the health update. It's uh, Aaron Rodgers, so it's always worth talking about. But is it uh, they? Lost that game, correct? I'm, there's so many, so many games going on. I don't remember. Oh, they won or lost. No, the Green Bay won. They, they won. pulled it they out. That's right. With the Green Christian Watson touchdown. Green Bay won. I mean, he so Aaron Rodgers going to keep playing as long as uh, they're in the hunt. That's what he says. He yeah. wants to keep playing as, until they're mathematically eliminated. But you think about quarterbacks. So there was Aaron Rodgers with his ribs. He played through. Thumb is mostly behind him. It was Trevor Lawrence that went down and right. limped through. Probably will continue to play. To a tag of Oyola went down, uh, but and did not return. But the game was out of hand with two minutes to go. He was questionable after throwing that late pick six with the game out of hand. So, yeah. I mean, he tweaked his he, ankle, too. He said he could have gone back in, Yeah, all that stuff. So, he just saved him. And and now, and what do we say going in? When you have both tackles out for Tua, it's not good. And now they signed Eric Fisher, right, to try him yeah. to, to shore it up. Uh, yeah, I don't think Teron Armstead comes back. Yeah, and that's uh, why they got weeks. Fisher, yeah. I'll go back to Lamar. That was his third sack of the first quarter was what he got hurt on, so. Tackle plays extremely important. 
And Jackson's an ankle, right? And he was on IR with that. So I believe that's in yeah, re- yeah, re- yeah. reactivation. So that, I mean, it's not as bad as the peck thing, but I mean, you're like you said, you're down both your, and they're their best offensive linemen are their bookends. The, the addition of Tua, there was Ryan Tannehill, yep. who uh, his ankle, and yeah, other version, ankle yeah. of the previous high ankle. And yep. yeah. So a lot of quarterback issues. Fortunately, most are going to be able to, uh, to play through there. And Patrick Mahomes left right. off mm-hmm. after they, uh, uh, and then uh, you bet he'll be on the practice report Wednesday and everyone will will be wondering what happened. So left ankle. I don't think it's significant. Sure. He limped a little bit, probably LP this week, but playing the Broncos. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes is going to play, I believe. And the, you know, the Broncos, you know, it's a divisional opponent, so I'm sure he'll, he'll come out and play. Right. Yeah, good time to plug the newsletter. If you want to, all these updates in your inbox, um, just go to website six score.com. There'll be a pop-up and you just put in your email there. Uh, we're sending on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So you'll get all the latest injury news coverage and field views and all the latest scores and uh, even a free yeah, pick every once in a while. It's no credit card, nothing. Just, you know, sign up if you want. And then uh, it's just a way to get it delivered. It's up to you guys. Uh, so far, it's been doing well. I mean, the open rate's high. I mean, like half the people who get it, open it, you know, and, etc so that's yeah that's, well, i can barely keep it all straight and i'm organizing on their website so mm-hmm. it helps to have it just all in one place and run yeah. down a, an easy list of it multiple well, sports going at once it's it's good now all the world cup action everything's all in one little newsletter so it's really good i want to talk aaron jones too talking about the packers um he has had a shin issue for the past three weeks been listed on the injury report limited in practice questionable and he's played um he was questionable in that game and then ended up coming back in seems like they're using him more in the passing game yeah, as opposed I, to running. Look, I just hope it's not an Antonio Gibson stress fracture mm-hmm. thing. We don't have any other information of, on his injury, uh, so I just hope it's not that. But. Gibson did play well through that, but we we he had worries. Well for that. I mean, yeah. he, early season, not as much, not as but much. then he he played himself through it, so good for him. Yeah, um, but that's not easily done, though. Is what you're saying? No, yeah. uh, but we'll see. I mean, uh, if the Packers are mathematically eliminated, and as we talked about, it becomes shutdown season for for uh, a lot of people. For sure. but that's a big fantasy situation to watch because people have Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon going back and forth. So A.J. Dillon has 18 rushes as most since week two. So maybe he gets a little bit more in the um and He had a little game. bit of a quad issue, but that didn't seem like that was a big deal. Right. Um, big matchup for week 14, Baltimore-Pittsburgh. We already ran through Lamar, but uh, Isaiah Likely was also injured in that game. Right shoulder came back. Uh, Patrick Queen had the thigh contusion that he got carted off for, so they they dodged a bullet there. But yeah, but, would, would, I wouldn't. I mean, look, I'm sure it hurt like crazy. There's likely a hematoma, but uh, that wasn't going to be a femur fracture. And and I would say Patrick Queen has a chance to play this week. Uh, in two weeks, he will for sure. But I think he still has a chance this week. Two that early were t- negative already. Yeah, yeah, yeah too yeah, early to more. tell. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it hurt like crazy. And this is how I always say: don't judge the reaction to the injury which is the card off judge the injury it didn't look that bad there's a lot of muscle bulk there I didn't think that was a femur fracture although it certainly hurt like crazy um and so um there we go uh cleveland at cincy big division matchup uh joe mixon didn't make it back from concussion this week better chance next week yeah i i actually am on the optimistic side that he'll clear he got to lp just didn't get to fp so. starts getting dangerous when you miss multiple weeks right so we it have does, to monitor him but it's more dangerous when you're dmp for multiple weeks okay I mean, so. at least he made some progress so maybe he can get there so hopefully i'll get there jamar chase did fairly well uh, mm-hmm. more utilization than than uh than i would have he thought ran, he ran a uh, routes 92 percent of the time so he was out there like running all all games so played better than we anticipated yeah good good on him the the bengals are hot again now yep. i mean i'm surprised the bengals are not favored to win the division right now yeah that's especially with lamar that was actually one of our picks in our when we were doing division picks we didn't do it as official sick pick but i was one of the vikings to win division because remember when we went the season ravens were the un- most unhealthy team so it, they were also the favorite to win the division so it was good value to get the Bengals. yeah so deshaun watson second game coming against since he didn't do much against houston uh not too many uh, offensive scores in that game. Everybody else scored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You surprised how high his props were set? It was like 240 for passing, something like that. That's seemed one of our easiest 25 picks. for rushing. Yeah, sick picks we had this week. It's not even an anti-Deshaun Watson. It wasn't. Right. Right. To me, it's the game of football is not that easy. He's been out of the game for two years. Right. Like 700 plus days that he hasn't. Well, okay, a little bit preseason, but 
it's just not the same. I mean, uh, and practicing with the team, he didn't do a lot of that, and that also plays a factor, I would say, right? Yeah, um, that I mean, he's still Deshaun Watson, but I mean, you can't just plug and play like yeah, that. It's yeah, not like mm-hmm. that in yeah. the right. NFL. No matter who you're playing, no, mm-hmm. no matter who you are, who you're playing, but yeah, Houston. <laughs> Did not keep up though. I mean, uh, I love that plus eight when we, when, we, when we were first looking at it, but yeah, like you said, they they kind of fell off at the end. Yeah, I wonder what's going on with Josh Jacobs too. It's like he, every week he's oh barely there with the calf. Or he two weeks ago it was oh he's barely Josh there. And then shirt underneath this right now, three hundred all-purpose <laughs> yards, and then this week oh he aggravated the calf. He's not going to make it back, and then a ton of rushing yards and. Have well, you seen something attempts, like that? Though? Twenty-five like, attempts. Well, I, I would say right now the Josh Jacobs. Uh, uh, and uh, Darren Waller are like opposite days. One's like hurt but playing through and whatever. The other one's, quote, hurt but not playing, and we're not even sure what's happening. I think there's right? some other stuff going on there. I don't know what's going on, but the Jacobs thing, I'm just like, because just learning like learning from you and being here like so long, like this is like, you're usually very like strong, you know, like Jacobs, you were like, oh, not going to play well. Then he, he did a tweak. It wasn't like, oh, I played through it, and then this is the second week playing through it. No, he tweaked it again. So it just... Maybe he's just really good. I don't know. That's my Raiders talking, but I mean, <laughs> no, that's, that was just something I, just good. <laughs> we don't, we don't normally see that. I don't think. Right. Just no and his, and calf his, injuries yeah. linger, but he's playing through. So, yep. and his props are so high. He had the highest uh, running back prop this week. I think Chubb had a uh, three yards and he was second highest 92 and he had 140 for like the fifth time this year. I will say with Debo too, maybe that was a little gamesmanship ahead of the Miami matchup talking about his uh Shanahan was talking about Debo's quad and how it wasn't loosening up like they wanted to and maybe they're going to rest him a week and then he was an integral part of the game plan it seemed like they always ten, intended 10 to play targets yeah, yeah 10 targets he ran the ball four times yeah, yeah it didn't look too affected so you know, sometimes coaches play a little close to the vest yeah it's part of the co- I mean there's a lot of um misdirection in the world right I mean uh what do you guys think of uh the lightning strike Oh my gosh! I honestly thought it was real. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Dude. mad because Taylor called me and I it was called. Like, him. I was like, "Drew Brees hey, just Drew got Brees. struck by lightning." I was like, "Okay, that's gonna reroute my whole day." Yeah, <laughs> it almost did. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I mean, what most... do you think about that, Doc? I feel like that was very poorly executed. Yeah, you can't do that. I don't know. It's so I mean, hard to tell what's real and what's fake. All I saw is a national media person retweeted it, and, and then you and, put it in our business channel, and, and I, I was and like, I said, "Oh, okay." And, and my well, I put it in there saying. Is What's it, the story? Is right, this real? Yeah. I mean, <coughs> I we had, mean a, had a bunch of local reporters saying, hope he's all right. Hope he's all right. That's like, what they, I told they him. They didn't know anything that's either. That's what I told yeah. him. I read that. I was re- re- looking through it. And like the video, I, it was a little bit fake, but not enough for me to think it wasn't. But then I saw so many beat writers being like, I hope he's okay. This, I'm like, and I was like, are they, do they not know? Like it was. I mean, I mean apparently he was in South America. Or Venezuela. Venezuela, Venezuela it's which, the lightning capital of the world because they're promoting lightning strike betting. Only he would know that. Yeah, yeah. sorry. It's okay. A, well, I mean, <laughs> my first reaction, if it was kind of real, I was going to text him or his wife and just check on him yeah. or something. But no. I didn't. I wasn't so sure. Because you don't want to be part of those people. I'm sure he got a bunch of those because, yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't so sure it was real. But I, I don't know. I mean, uh, is what it is. But, what, what, but yeah, you guys saw the Steph video? Steph Curry. That's 100% real. I, <laughs> my God. As, a, as a very biased yeah, Warrior fan. Yeah, disclaimer, Warrior fan. <laughs> as yeah. a very biased Warrior <laughs> yeah. fan. Okay. Let me ask you this question. It's so he's far. hit those in game. He hits it all the uh, time. Let's talk. What are you gonna say? Five in a row. Is that too much? <laughs> he hits those disbelief? in game. Yes. Not not the one handed chuck five times in a row, but he's extremely <laughs> he accurate from three quarter court. <laughs> no, I yeah. I don't care if you're a Harlem Globetrotter. You, you, ain't you five can't. Of those. I mean, yeah. this this one handed toss. He practices those. Is all I'm saying. I don't like the effortlessness behind it. It's that's not like, what makes me yeah. think like, oh, that's okay. fake. <laughs> Can I give you a clue? Yes, please. Okay. Who shot the video? Sports Illustrated. A video dude who's famous for doing what? Editing. Trick shots and editing. Including yeah. with who? I don't know. Tom don't Brady. Know. Oh, okay. So hole, hole in ones, golfing. And do you remember so a special the special effects guy? Yeah. You remember the jugs video where Tom Brady threw it into the, and yeah. everyone thought it was real. Yeah. Threw in the jugs machine that spit it back out, and he's playing catch with the jugs machine. He also has a video, I think, with six Julian Edelman's running yep. routes. Yes, I mean, look him up. I mean, and he's good at what he does. I don't want to look that deep. I don't want to just believe it's real. He, 
look, the guy's very talented. He's very talented. He's very talented. <laughs> yeah, this is true. I, I'm no expert, but a jugs machine you can't throw a ball into and yep. have it. I don't care how many times you try, it just doesn't work that way. Okay. The second thing is, I mean, if you wanted to do one, okay. Uh, okay, maybe he could hit do one. one. Yeah, I was, I was, I will say, I'm, I was impressed how the ball never hit the roof. It was like always so close. To yeah, the roof. he has per- good skills, <laughs> editing perfectly, skills. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I will say that. Yeah, but the fact that there, there's a little bit of disbelief and a little bit of that, that's a compliment, to Steph Curry. No, that's right? what I was telling you guys. Yeah. Like that, that's <laughs> that, if you guys think it's semi real, that means like yeah. If it's Boban doing it, then I'm like, yeah, it's fake. <laughs> I thought Drew Brees got hit by lightning was real because like he's crazy. Like I would expect him to get into crazy situations like you thought, that. You yeah. thought he was he starting? He's crazy. I don't know. He just like does weird stuff. You know. You thought he was starting his Lee Trevino. Why arc? did they choose him? Like he doesn't even. Is, why did that's his first time in the fray of gambling, right? He could have well, chose a lot of like Jamie. There's a lot of I don't know. Not like, well, like, why did choose him? I don't know. I mean, yeah. technically, right now he's unattached, right? So he's it's legal true. He's not on it. a TV yeah. stuff. No, that's you know, true. he's not with NBC. He's not with, and he's an. He has the freedom to do that. I, I know uh, Gannon does the park stuff with you. Is that like the thing to do now as like a like a, a media person? You just latch on to the top, like one of the books that gets to you first, I guess. Oh, there's a sports book arms race, so yes. there's plenty of opportunities. Yeah, yeah. No, for but, sure. But I would have said, uh, uh, let's put it this way. The, uh, the struck by lightning was more believable than five Three quarter court shots, one hand. <laughs> you see, he t- he tweeted too. He's like, "I'm about to fly to a secret location." I looked at that tweet. Yeah. I'm like, why are you telling me that? <laughs> I was like, oh. And and then when you put it together, this is the guy who did the Tom Brady. I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, for sure. Fine. It, it's great content. Uh, give it to him. Well, but, it's what mm-hmm. so we talk about in our business stuff. It's quick Twitch world. So if you watch that video really quickly, ninety percent of people are probably thinking it's real, right? So that's what they want few more wide receiver injuries then we'll get to beast of the week uh chase claypool mild mcl sprain on the right knee uh luckily they get a bye but he did come back in the game and had two catches for negative five yards so <laughs> not sure why he did come back in the game but well, kudos for him for trying you can run straight ahead with yeah. mcl you can't cut and i don't know i mean it surprised me that he did come back into the game uh but like you said, two catches minus five yards. I, I want mean, to say too. I think with the Justin Fields, you guys are onto something about the the running and will he get the injection? Won't he? He had four design runs, which is by far the lowest of. Did of he the not, time did that he he's not run playing. after that fifty yard run? He ran like he had like a couple two yard ones. So but, he had a fifty five yard one. His prop was sixty five and a half, and he ended up with seventy one. We or something were watching like that. the first sixty six and a half. First six, six, four yeah. rushes, yeah. right? And. He got down every single time and never took contact, which, which you don't see from Justin Fields. Yeah, every done single that time. This and on the touchdown run, if it were flag football, he wouldn't have been gotten. No, right. there was there was no danger There's of contact. Open, he yeah. just was <laughs> gone, <laughs> gone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, but I do think if someone was coming up on him, he would have gone down and not taken contact. But he just so fast and so good that there wasn't anyone there, That's so he scored. Sure. So yeah, uh, that there was something to that, I think, but. You know, and uh, he's just talented. You know, Denver's uh, wide receiver situation is another one to watch this week. They already have the lowest six score in the league. Cortland Sutton picked up a hamstring, came in with an illness. Jerry Judy was bothered by the ankle, uh, sat out some series late. So Dolchich got a lot of the receiving work because they're down to like Jalen Virgil, Brandon Johnson. They pulled up from the practice. Kendall squad. Hinton, yeah. Kendall Hinton, yeah. Ham, KJ Hamler. You know, is he is he a quarterback? He's, no, just, he's, just joking. He's no. an emergency, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Might a quarterback controversy in a couple yeah. weeks. We'll see. No. <laughs> I don't think there's any quarterback controversy. There's I don't care if you're a Walton Penner. There's too much money with the salary cap yeah. invested into yeah. Russell Wilson. How's you, it gonna you, look? There's, you there's have bad optics. To. You well, you can't just eat the money. You I can't, mean, it doesn't you, look right. Yeah, you, you have to do something. They're gonna have to make it work with Russell. All right, Beast of the Week. We got two nominees. Uh, first one was from Doug in the office on oh, Sunday. I didn't know if you remembered. I had that in my mind. Like, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Uh, Titans wide receiver Traylon Burks, uh, rookie, so caught his first career touchdown pass, but took a vicious hit to the helmet and hit his head on the ground. So he was unconscious, but holding on to the ball. Well, and, Justin, show the video, but yeah. like he held on to the ball. He got rocked. It was a penalty. Everyone he, was he was ruled out with a out, concussion, yeah, and right. he still held on to the ball. So... Yeah. Uh, that's a beast move. I, I'll that's give a, it to that's you. A, 
and hopefully he can come back next week from his concussion. He's a super talented yeah. rookie, so yeah, but he's that. I mean, the guy didn't. He hung on to the ball. That's a uh, two two rookies have done that. Chris Olave with the uh, Saints earlier season held on the ball with his concussion and that one wasn't a, that head. one wasn't a touchdown, but they gave it to him. They I gave remember, it to him. I remember it was that an honorary one being a little, concussion little, yeah. touchdown. Remember the one when I remember this is when you were with Doc with the Zach Miller. I remember he caught the yeah. touchdown. I remember he three sixty his knee, and they, I was the one time I ever thought like just give him the touchdown. Like, I was like, come on, like because he never played again. Like that's his well, last well, chance. Well, maybe maybe these guys. Uh... <laughs> We're just posturing, so they held on the football. That's, okay, no. That's, that, no, I, I got to give him a beast of the week for hanging on to the football. There. Yeah. Awesome. Another one I want to bring up because I guess it's a trend, maybe just in Minnesota, but uh, Alexander Madison scored his touchdown and did the, the fake hammy and then <laughs> twerked after. Mm-hmm. He was impersonating a soccer celebration that this uh, women's soccer player did it. But are you a fan of those? Are you ner- nervous about those? Justin Jefferson did the like gritty where he fake got hurt too. Jamar Chase actually was hurt when he did his. Gritty, I've seen so, Joe Mixon yeah. go out for the season after doing a toe dance in the end zone, so I don't like it. I don't like any dances. Just do the Ladainian Thompson. Just hand it off. Is there, the is there a coach conversation? Just like, all right, keep it simple. Don't don't scare us like that. They practice that after, like during practice, yeah. though, right? Well, not on like. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't hours. know that would, <laughs> that it would would bother me one way or the other as long as it's entertaining for fans and whatever and keep it clean uh i mean uh, imagine how far we've come all that used to be illegal oh yeah, yeah. used to be <laughs> automatic the, the, flag. The, the no fun league i reckon yeah. like jumping up when they celebrate you remember that kid from lsu when he got it like his, his i think the the his side the guy on the side had a sack and he jumped over the guy and he i think it was 20, yeah. i don't know if it's 20 acl but it like, was yeah um, that's i don't like any jumping just Yes. You know. <laughs> vocal. Yeah, vocal. And so we're watching the office of the Raiders score and he's flying off the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's my, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're going to te- tear an ACL <laughs> yeah. one of these days. No, um, I don't know. I, I, I kind of am entertained by some of these as long yeah. as they're creative. Uh, I like it better than just the. Our CEO doesn't yeah. like when all the defensive players go on and just take the, like, you know, the big group pick. Like, well, we're, well, we're, we're, like we're, half we're, the field. We're, and, yeah. we're starting, we're starting, uh, a little mini series of uh, in honor of the World Cup, right? Football versus football. Yeah, right. And you have two tweets already that are, yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> that is I mean, another one I wanted to bring up. That I think the league—I don't know the full details, but the league said they're trying to crack down on those fake injuries because it's we, supposed to be a fine of up to three hundred fifty thousand dollars to the team for doing it. Really? Or doing it on the, no, the on, Jesse Bates oh, Jesse when Bates. he was in the huddle, okay, yeah, he yeah. saw saw they had ten men and he oh I'm cramping. <laughs> that's why he shook his ankle afterwards goal line he was too. Just like yeah that's a goal line situation and you could be down men and he he goes down with the the fake cramp so i mean that's what i said you know is it football or is it football but yeah it's supposed to be illegal um look i think it's hard to catch somebody though i mean because all if jesse bates or someone says yeah that was planned and we whatever then, how are you gonna prove he had a cramp or not that's exactly right. All he's got to say is he had a cramp. And now I mean, I'm better. Yeah, I had a cramp. I had to stretch it out. As long as it's verified. Oh, sure, they'll interview the team. But, you know, I mean. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you how do you police that? If someone goes down and it costs, it, there's an injury timeout under two minutes, does the guy have to miss five plays automatically? Or Do you have to make a stink yeah. about it? Like, do you have to, like, literally, like, be in the rest here? Being like, I just saw Jesse Peets do it. Like, come on. Like, and look at him. He looks fine. Cause he did you see he was behind everybody? It was like the crowd of the twelve. Oh, he and he knew he, it. It was the most obvious saw, and egregious he one because he was running, looking at the yes, guys running off the field them, and he said, yes. "We don't have enough numbers," and then went right down. <laughs> well, I mean, some people would say if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. It's true. Some people would say whatever. Look, it's only uh, cheating if you get caught. So. Someone would be calling us snitches right now, to be honest. Yeah. So there's different ways <laughs> I of mean, looking at it. <laughs> I'm I'm tempted to relay some stories, but maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, always that's I, I, always where I, I, we want to get to, I, too, Doc. I, I, I know this guy. <laughs> All right, there you go. A friend of mine. A friend this of mine heard friend a story. Of mine, uh, <laughs> I mean, look, it's not be. I mean, I heard this guy that uh, defender was down, the defense was gassed, legitimately down. So it wasn't right. like we told him to go down. Right, right. But you go out there. And, I mean, this guy goes out there, and uh, <laughs> wait, you gotta keep 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 in character. <laughs> we'll fix that in post. And they said, "Yeah, I'm good." And he was told, "Look, you're out for one play either way. Make sure you're good that you can come back after one play. The defense needs a blow, anyways." Okay, take my time out there a little bit. That's a difference between 
that wasn't asking him to fake an injury right. to get the slowdown. But once he's down, Might you as well know, there's no rush. Yeah. yeah, there's no rush. That's it's a little bit strategic there. Uh, you know, they're That's being a good teammate. Uh, that, that guy I might that I'm talking about. We might have. I don't think we ever did anything that was, hey, fake this, but you know, manipulated a situation slightly, all in the cause of safety, you know, and, and different sure. things. So, and winning um, and winning, yeah, it does well, happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll 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 pass on the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't bad. They weren't yeah. blatantly no, fakey, no, no, no. and I don't think Give any of them. Secrets. I don't think any of them would would have raised the level of being investigated or fine right. but but you know it's sort of like uh uh you know holding eh, just a, a brief second or mm -hmm. or defensive pass interference just a little bit of contact but not you know egregious and so you know, there's fine lines as to what happens all right um that should be it for this week uh headed into week 14 and uh, we still got basketball stuff rolling and uh, so the world cup neymar is playing right now so that's the big uh the big all eyeballs on brazil and france and he's got a goal already by the way just a spoiler oh yeah. it's uh he got it's, a lot of goals it's the it's the end of the kims it looks like oh it's it's done yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's four nothing the, in the first the, half now, uh, here's here's the here's the bet that let's see more Brazil goals or more Kims on South Korea <laughs> over under four and a half. <laughs> you know, you, count, you count the bench. You count the bench too. No, just starters. Oh yeah, maybe more goals right now. I think there's. I mean, you may tie. I think there's four Kims. Maybe there's so, more than four Kims. You think so? there's four Kims on defense? So you're right. I yeah, think there's five or six Kims. <laughs> yeah, on there's that be. So just a couple more goals. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're watching this four nothing right now. Not even forty minutes in. Uh, oh, I was making some crazy faces because I was trying not to be like silent, but there's some some cool goals. For oh, you did well. I was looking yeah. at you. I couldn't even tell there's four goals. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the Kim defense isn't doing it today. Nope. All right, thanks for uh, watching and listening. Pro Football Doc Podcast, Sports Injury Central, and uh, you guys will have your fantasy rogue podcast this week. <laughs> Come down the wire. Like fantasy says playoffs. Rogue, it seems like we're like superhero podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Good. Yeah. Well, you're still in Scott Fish. I'm out. Yes. Yes. It's just rogue because all the fantasy stuff is still over your head, Doc. Sorry. But yeah. He's in it. You're fighting your way there. You, He's in a couple it. more years. Yeah. You'll be labeled a fantasy yeah. expert. I'm not <laughs> going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I set my light up. So yeah. yeah. I do. They're just quick. It's all good. All right. Thanks for listening and watching. And uh, more updates this week at siccore.com. And, uh, I hope Matt Stafford makes the right decision for him and his family.